Hey there, I am back with an unboxing and today we've got a brick of the Art of Play mystery decks. They do these once or twice a year uh, and these popped up as part of their eighth anniversary celebration. Art of Play mystery decks are some of my favorites out there. All of their decks are great, but every time they do a run, it seems like you always have a really good shot at getting some of the really phenomenal decks that they have out there. I know in this one, I've seen people pull if an octopus can palm V2, uh, I've seen uh, the Overlook deck, I've seen Private Reserve Makers decks, just all sorts of phenomenal decks you can pull out of these. So really excited to see what I got in my 12. All right, so let's get right into it. Now they're all wrapped in this really cool blue wrapping here, kind of an Egyptian theme on it. Uh, this is the same wrapping they used with the Christmas decks last year. And then they're finished out with that really cool faux wax seal on them. Uh, but you're not here to see the wrapping, you're here to see the decks inside, so let's get right into it and start with deck number one. And, oh, right off the bat, all right, home run off the bat, this is cool. The Overlook deck, this is the one based on the Shining, uh, really cool deck, that maze design, kind of more standard deck design, but I love the tuck case on these. So, wow, right off the bat, that is a really, uh, really great one to start off with. All right, let's see what we get with number two. And we have something all in black. And it is, ooh, nice. What is it? Is this the Memento Mori deck? I think, very cool, very nice deck. I don't have this one, so very excited to add this one to the collection. Actually, I already had an Overlook deck, so that's a duplicate for me, but don't have that deck, that's cool. All right, number three, we have, is this cabinet Cabinetarium, that's my guess. Ah, oh, very cool. I have been looking at this one and kind of going back and forth on picking it up forever. So I am super excited to get this one in. Uh, it has some phenomenal artwork inside. Uh, this Armando Vebe or Vive guy. Uh, really great artwork they did in this one. So wow, I am super excited for that one. Wow, three for three so far. Looking good. All right, let's see what else we got. Number four, something all in orange. Is this maybe full? Oh no, this is the Cardistry Con deck. All right, I'm not a huge cardistry guy, uh, but I do kind of like this one. I love that kind of offset seal uh, and that embossing on the, or debossing, I guess it is, on the tuck case. So, not bad. It's probably my least favorite so far just because I'm not a cardistry guy, but not a bad deck anyway. All right, this one, ugh, ah. All right, this is one of the ones that I consider a dud uh, balance playing cards. Not a huge fan of these. I picked these up once or twice, uh, opened one, don't love it, not my favorite design, uh, but not a bad deck nonetheless. Just uh, not so much for me. I don't know, I'm sure there are people out there that like it. All right, that's five, number six, halfway mark. Oh, is this Makers? Yeah, Makers Private Reserve, the red version. Beautiful deck. If you don't have a Makers, uh, whether you get the Private Reserve or something else, go get you one of the Makers decks. They are absolutely fantastic. Just a beautiful classic design. All right, that's the halfway mark, doing phenomenally so far. All right, what do we have next? Oh, there you go, another Cabinetarium. So my first duplicate, not a bad one to have two of. I have a Cabinetarium, is number seven. All right, jump right into number eight. We have, I think I know, is this Paper Cuts? Yeah, Paper Cuts. Uh, this is such an underrated deck. It's based on this design of paper that's cut into these intricate uh, intricate detailed designs really beautiful piece of work uh, and love this deck really underrated deck all right last four here we go number nine playing cards don't put that oh very nice fantastic uh, this has a flip book effect this is a great great deck I absolutely love this deck this is the first flip book deck that I ever got and have loved it ever since so I have no issues having a duplicate of that one in my collection. All right, last three. And we have the ah, womp womp. All right, another balance. So that, of everything to get a duplicate of, this is not the one I wanted, but there you go. I now have two balances, woohoo. All right, last two. Let's see if we can close it out with a bang. We have Dan and Dave logo there, uh, and another Fantastic. All right, that is not a bad one to get a duplicate of. Not sure I need a third Fantastique in my collection, but I have them nonetheless. 
All right, last one to go. Maybe I can pull in if an octopus could palm uh, one of those other really crazy decks out. Oh, no, but we did get another really good one. We got a second Overlook deck. All right, so duplicates of Overlook. So got a few duplicates in this one. Two balance, well, several duplicates. Two balance, two fantastic, two cabinetarium, and the real winner of the box, the pair of Overlook decks. So not a bad selection at all. 12 decks in all, and at the uh, $12 a deck price point, gotta say, I definitely got my money's worth out of these. So very pleased with the uh, with the selection out of this one. Uh, no complaints at all for me. So hopefully you guys got a hold of some of these Art of Play mystery decks for yourself. If you did, let me know down in the comments what you were able to pull. Maybe you got lucky, maybe you got one of those if an octopus could palm or one of those other crazy decks. Uh, but let me know what, what you got if you got them in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. Let me know what else you want to see, and I'll see you for the next one.